Hello everyone, welcome back to another Death Frontier video. Uh, this is a general Death Frontier video obviously today, um, because of the recent announcements. I'm going to be uh, really quick in here and just say uh, I haven't been awake long, I've been dealing with a cold, it's kind of on its way out, but excuse me if I do the odd cough, I'll try and you know, cut them out and everything. Um, and I also want to dis uh, make a disclaimer here and say, this isn't really surprising to me because I was aware of a new Death Frontier game. Um, but either way, I didn't think uh, it would have an announcement this early, so still kind of a surprise. But I'm going to, you know, just talk about it today and sort of discuss my plans with it. Um, and yeah, so Dead Frontier Still Alive is basically a survival, top-down survival, wave-by-wave wave sort of deal. I don't think it's got actual waves. Uh, I think it's just um, an endless sort of experience. But basically, it's, uh, it's, 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 a, it's a survival game, wave-by-wave uh, wave experience. It's being developed by Clayton, not Neil. Um, and uh, it's uh, set in the Dead Frontier 2D era. I almost said 2 then. Uh, Dead Frontier 2D era. So it's it's going to be very similar to... It basically uses Dead Frontier 2D graphics. Um, I think they've done up some of the sound effects, some of the graphics and stuff. Um, it, there's, a gen there's a general, um, there's a general uh, remastering of the visuals uh, in a way. I'm looking at the inventory system here. It looks very actually. It looks very cool actually. I'm not gonna lie. The basic idea is that it's it is essentially a um it's a, it's a basically a side project like a, a spin-off game being developed by Clayton, not Neil. So none of none of really what happens here is gonna take away from Neil's development time. All that might take away is perhaps like the press side of things. I have been speaking to Clayton about it. Um, he reckons that Neil won't be doing a massive amount, um, but he'll probably be focusing more on the marketing side of things. Um, he's not entirely sure. It's a bit early. Um, so there won't be much development time taken away from Death Frontier 1 or 2, so that's not a problem. Um, but the actual game itself is fully being made by Clayton. Um, I did advise Clayton, you know, to try and get more of a community presence going, answering questions, which he says he's going to be trying to, because um, he's never really released a game on his sort of own back, if that makes sense. Um, he's never really, as far as I'm aware, I don't think he's really released a game. He's always been showing me projects he's been working on and stuff. Um, uh, and I've always been like sort of fascinated. Um, he had his own sort of Dead Frontier project um, in the making that was separate from this game and stuff. Um, that looked pretty pretty damn polished. Um, yeah, it, it was inspiring. It was really cool. Um, so I'm I'm happy for him. I'm really happy that he's uh he's got this ability right here to see to to create a game for the the franchise. Um, he also pops up in my streams every now and then, so you know that's cool. But I'm not gonna read the entire lot of this. Um, but there is a lot. I'm gonna go through general like bullet points. It, it is essentially, uh, each match should last anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes, so it's basically a survival, not an endless thing, but it's a survival thing. It, it seems like it's more of a wave-by-wave -wave shooter. I don't know for sure. Um, to kill your hearts can 10, there's basically just, you know, it's going to be loads of zombies on the screen compared to Death Frontier 2D. Always, <laughs> almost messed up again, t Death Frontier 2D. Um, you can loot, apparently, um, which is cool, actually, you know, being able to loot and get certain supplies. I'm assuming yeah, there is a shop. Um... Oh, equipment upgrades and stuff like that. So there is, like, there is progression to it. You can go inside uh, interiors as well. I didn't even know that. I'm just reading some stuff now. Um, so that's also really cool. Progression is um, seemingly kind of like a just a general. I guess you could say sort of like Killing Floor Two. You just do a match, you get experience, etc. It's not like an MMO or RPG type deal. There is stat allocation, but I don't think it's like. I think it's a little bit less heavy on that, which is really good. Uh, it says there's also remastered visuals and sound, which is what I mentioned earlier. But I'm looking forward to it. Now, the other thing I think is worth mentioning here is um, what I'm going to be doing on my channel um, uh, with Dead Frontier and all that in general. Um, I am planning, I keep saying this, I am planning on making potentially other videos in the future. I don't know, I've, I've still got this sort of thing where it's like I just feel more comfortable just making Death Frontier. Not saying I don't want to branch out or anything. Um, I do want to do the Minecraft Nostalgia series at some point, but I don't fully know what I want um, in terms of making videos. I don't really know fully. Yeah. But it looks like the game is going to be pretty good, so I'm going to be covering this on my channel um, alongside Death Frontier 2. I'll probably be covering it equally, so that'll be fun. Um, I, we don't have a date for it yet. There's no official date. Um, I don't really know what progress has been. Like, I don't know where we are in terms of de development. I don't know if we're close to release. I don't know if we're close to beta. I, I literally don't know. But it looks pretty decent. It looks like it's going to be a pretty, uh, pretty solid little game, and I'll be streaming it. I'll be playing it. Um, I really like it because it is just Dead Frontier 2D, just killing things though, because it's got all the old sprites and everything in it. You've got the Beta Tomcat on some of the screen, Mini 41, I believe the, uh, the GAUs in it, the GAU, what you want to call it. Either way, I'm really looking forward to it. I did actually say to Clay, maybe when the game comes out, we should play together. He said, yeah, I'm sure. So 
that's cool. I'll be doing that, I guess. Um, I'm looking for. I'm looking forward to it because it'll be just a nice thing to sort of ease you away from Death Frontier too. Uh, you don't have to go so crazy over it. You can just play a different little small game for the time being. And I'm not being funny. I can't be asked to spend four hundred pounds in Death Frontier One right now. So I'm I'm quite happy with it, and I'm looking forward to the uh, the actual stuff that's happening for it. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking forward to more information. I'm looking forward to actually seeing some gameplay and some more stuff on it, but I appreciate everyone uh, watching the video, I will be covering this more often, um, I do actually want to make a video uh, soon regarding, not even regarding, but sort of, I want to just shout out some Dead Frontier community members, I feel like I haven't really done that, um, so I wanted to basically make a video sort of detailing a bunch of my thoughts on certain people in the community, so that's something I'm going to be doing over the next, um, I don't know, probably a couple of days maybe, um, but I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you Clayton for the info, uh, and answer my questions for about 20 30 minutes straight you know i know it can be a pain sometimes but i appreciate it nonetheless um but i'm really looking forward to it so yeah so thank you for watching and i'll see you all next time goodbye